My name's John Lloyd. My show is called Lift of QI, and it's the dairy room, which is part of the underbelly. Every year since Douglas Adams died, his friends put on a show in aid of Save the Rhino, his favourite charity. And uh, last year, Douglas would have been 60. And because of this, we took the Hammersmith Apollo and we ran a competition to think of new lifts from a book that Douglas and I wrote in 1983 called The Meaning of Lift. And it was, the response was fantastic. And uh, so I read out the competition winners, about 20 of them. And it was one of those amazing experiences that uh, the roof came off. The whole of 3,000 people laughing and screaming at you. And it was a fantastic experience. And a producer friend of mine came up and said, if you can do an hour of that, we'll take you to Edinburgh. So that's why I'm here. So the show is a mixture of lifts, uh, which are things there ought to be words for but aren't, and bits of QI, really. It's great fun in a way that producing is very interesting and absorbing, difficult, not so much fun producing. It's, it's a tough job, and the reward is in doing it well. Performing, the reward is extremely visceral and immediate. You know, there's nothing better in life than making lots of people laugh. It's very enjoyable indeed. And I'm learning on the job, you know, and what a brilliant thing to be 61 and having a completely different experience and trying to get better at it. One of the things I like about being here is I'm right in the action again. I went to see a show the other night called The State Versus John Hayes. Fantastic show, one woman, she'd written it. Uh, and was performing and it was only nine of us in the audience. That's my experience of Edinburgh, looking at the people who are not yet above the parapet. Everybody wants somebody to be a ready-made genius, you know, they want somebody to be a number one hit straight away. They want the comedy show to be a hit in the first two shows. It doesn't happen like that. None of the shows I've done, for which I suppose I'm famous, Blackadder, Spitting Image, Not the Night News, all got terrible reviews in the first series. You know, a lot of anger and, and uh, disappointment. And the BBC used to say, fine, you've had a go, now make it better. And all of those shows in the second series were brilliant. And I couldn't possibly have done it without the help of the senior people who, who guided me and, you know, kicked me around a bit.